Hello friends, Tony here. Uh, I have run the PHP Artisan Migrate Fresh, so I don't have any data right now in my database. And just go and register with fake filler and navigate the tasks. Okay, so here we have a form. Now when we create a form, and I'm going to use a fake filler here just to save some time. Say submit. Sorry, the task, when we create a task, task created, we have a notification here, but we have a list here to render the tasks, to list the tasks, but the task is created and now it's not displaying here. We need to refresh and yeah, now is displayed the task. And when we had this logic, so the form logic, also the list logic in the task index, which is the parent component, uh, that was automatically done, but now we separate the form and the task list in uh, two components and we have a task index com parent component which host the form and also the task list component how we can achieve that how we can communicate between a form and a list component so when we create a new task say a uh, task is created so update the list for that we are going to use the uh, live wire event system so live wire offers a robust event system that you can use to communicate between different components on the page now because it uses browser events under the hood you can also use livewire's event system to communicate with the alpine components as well now to trigger an event you may use the dispatch method from anywhere inside your component and listen for that event from any other component on the page now let's take a look to our project i'm going to open first the parent component which is the task list task index sorry task index and here we render the task list and the task form but on this task list we added the task from the parent and also if I open the task index class as you can see here we have a task now instead of getting the task here we can move this logic so cut and move this logic on task list and let's open the task list class and instead of listening for the task we passed there we are going to get in here and then remove this okay now if I come on browser and refresh everything works correctly now let's work with the events so when we create a form uh, fire event and then listen for that event on a list to dispatch an event from a live wire component you can call the dispatch method passing it the event name and any additional data you want to send along with the event so let's open the form class so tasks form and here we injected the form object because we use the, the form object and then we have this save method and here we say this validate then this form create, a, create task and then this form reset what I'm going to do after the create task I'm going to send I'm going to dispatch the event so I'm going to say, say plus and this and call the dispatch method and pass in here the name and I'm going to name it a task created. As I told you, also you can add additional data here, but I'm going to leave as it is right now. And then let's open the task list class. And here we need to listen for that event. Okay, so we fire the we dispatch the event from form, and we need to listen on the render method. Now, to listen for an event in a live wire component, we need to use the on attribute above the method we want to be called when a given event is dispatched. Okay, right now in the task list we have only the render method, but if we have other methods, so let's, for example, let's say method, and I'm going to say just test. If we have another method, we can listen also to this one. And let's do that. Let's listen for one moment to this one let's say hash brackets and use the on attribute and also we need to import that 
Okay, so use live wire attributes on. And we need to specify the name, which is we have here task created. So task list, paste that in. And now when the task created event is dispatched from the task form, a network request will be triggered and the test uh, action will be invoked. Okay, so let's say, for example, just for now, I'm going to say dime dump test. Okay, save and open the browser, refresh. Fake filter here. Let's use something here and let's say submit. As we can see, we have dime dump test. And now if I refresh, yeah, here is the list. Also, as, we, as I told you, you can add uh, additional data. So on task form, for example, we can say title. And we can get the title from dollar sign this form title like this. And on the task list now, the additional data sent with that event will be provided to this action as a first argument. So to this action is going to be as the first argument and we named that title. We can say title here and instead of test, we can say dime down dollar sign title. And if I save and refresh and let's test one more time this, the listen for this event. And as you can see, here's the title of uh, this task we created, but we need, when we create a new task, we need to update the list. The all the idea is there. So in this case, I'm going to move the on attribute. So I'm going to cut and paste it on the render because what I want is just to update to render the view when here we pass the task. I'm going to remove now the test and let's save this. Refresh, as we can see, we have three tasks and let's use a fake filter again. Now, when we submit, you can see it's going to update the list. If I say submit here, the task is created and now we have four tasks on the list. Also, if I refresh and use one more time the fake filler, we need to add one more characters and we have four. Now, if I say submit again, the task is created and now we have four, uh, five tasks here. Okay, friends, that's it. How we can communicate between components in LiveWire using the LiveWire event system. So we dispatch a event from the form and then we listen for that event on the task list. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. Now, don't forget, if you like such a video, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best.